Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. I'm gonna be heading on out today to the usual, you know, places to see what kind of cool stuff came out. And I believe there's only a small handful of titles that hit uh, Blu-ray and DVD today, which is one is uh, Killing Gunther, the new Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, which I'll be talking about at the end of this hoarding up video today, so stay tuned for that. And also, Joe Lynch's new movie, Mayhem, here on Blu-ray and 4K, which is another movie I'll be talking about at the end of this video in the review portion. But there's also one other movie uh, that hits DVD and Blu-ray today that I kind of sort of want to see. I hear bad things about it, but at the same time, I don't know if I want to support the release. Uh, you know what I mean? By you know spending my money on it. And that is Jeepers Creepers 3. And you guys all know why. <laughs> I don't I'm kind of conflicted when it comes to that film. But other than that, guys, let's head on out to the stores and see what kind of stuff we can find today. Well, at my first destination of the day, the local Target. Let's head up in there and see what they have today. All right, guys, over here at Target now, I'll take a look and see what some of the new ones are today that were released that they got. A lot of the same old stuff from the top over here. And they have this one right here. I didn't even think came out today from the websites that I, I frequent to look at and stuff. The Mountain Between Us uh, with uh, Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. This one looks really kind of interesting to me, to be honest, but I didn't know this one was this one came out today and also of course the brawl and cell block 99 with a uh, Vince Vaughn uh, came out today I haven't seen this one yet so I can't really say if it's any good or not but it looked like I, I love prison movies and of course uh, the other one was a uh, you know, Killing Gunther, which I talked about at the beginning for a second, which I'll give you my review of at the end of this video, but that's to say, Arnold Schwarzenegger is only in it for like 10 minutes. And of course, Flatliners uh, came out today, which I didn't even know came out today either. It was so I guess the websites I frequent don't really show the, some of the new ones that uh, get released, but I like the original Flatliners, but I don't know if I'm gonna dig this one or not. But yeah, it is the day after Christmas in the store. It's just a little bit more uh, nuttier than normal. So people are over here like returning, you know, their Christmas gifts that they didn't want or, you know, using their gift cards that they got for Christmas. So what? They actually made a Jumanji game? Uh, what? Now that's pretty damn cool. If it came in one of those like, you know, hard cases, just like the one in the movie did, that, that'd be even cooler. But I don't know if I dare. If I dare play the Jumanji game, uh, I'll, I'll stay away. Over at the next destination of the day, the local Wally World. So let's head on in Wally World and uh, see what they got today. All right, everyone over here at Walmart now, take a look at their new release section they have over here. They have Dunkirk on the top over here, along with uh, Brawl and Cell Block 99 on Blu-ray and DVD and uh, 4K right over here. Uh, they still have, they have the Flatliners. Uh, over here on uh, DVD and stuff, Killing Gunther with Arnold Schwarzenegger, and uh, that, you know, Mountain Between Us, and something called Revolt, which I don't really know what that one is. It looks like some sort of, oh, it looked like it was like some sort of anim computer animated movie, but maybe not <laughs> in the long run, but that doesn't look like anything that really interests me at all. But then, of course, the Jeepers Creepers 3 uh, DVD and Blu-ray came out today. It's $9.96 for the DVD. Uh, $12.96 for the Blu-ray, so it's not a bad, a bad price, but just a bad, bad person made it. And of course, Mayhem uh, with Joe Lynch came out today, which I'll have a review of at the end of this mo uh, at the end of this video right here. Uh, it's it's it, it yeah I'll, I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it a little bit later on. And guys, of course, Terminator 2: Judgment Day uh, hit 4K today. I talked about this one in my last hoarding up video. If you have a 4K player, this is definitely uh, a release you want to get, especially for the new 55-minute uh, documentary that they have on this bad boy. Oh yeah. Well, guys, at my last stop of the day, the local Best Buy. Let's head up in there and see what they got. Well guys, over at Best Buy right now, they doesn't look like they really put a lot of the new releases out today, but they do have the Mountain Between Us 4K, which I didn't see at any other uh, stores today. I kind of, like I said, want to see this one, but I don't know, it's one of those ones I might wait and see, see if I find it in a, one of those used stores or something like that. I do like the cast in it. Of course, Brawl on uh, Cell Block 99, that's everywhere today. But every, everything else over here has been out you know, the past couple of weeks and different things like that. And uh, of course they have their Terminator 2 uh, Judgment Day uh, 4K over here, along with uh, some of these other like Starship Troopers uh, Blu-ray Steelbooks that are here that are kind of cool. They were here, you know, for weeks now, but. But yeah, guys, when it comes to the Jeepers Creepers 3 that was released today, it doesn't look like Best Buy carries it. They only carried the Shout Factory uh, ones of one and two over here. But I'm not really seeing much of anything else 
over here at Best Buy this week. Kind of, kind of a slow week. Getting out of Best Buy right now. Didn't find anything in there. It's kind of a bust uh, this week. I did get a, a gift card for Christmas, which I may use, you know, on a previous date if I find anything cooler, uh, you know, in the next couple weeks when it comes to movie, movie-related stuff. But let's head on home. Well, guys, I just got home from hoarding up. Obviously, I didn't pick up anything today. Uh, I really kind of wanted to see the new Jeepers Creepers movie, but like I said, didn't want to support the director Victor Salva and anything like that because I really don't want to see him keep making movies, you know, after what he did years and years ago on the movie Clown House and other stuff. And you know what I mean? It's just, I don't know, it's, it's, just, it's a strange situation when it comes to, uh, you know, his work. But I, I did come home today and, ju and just got the mail and uh, let's, unbubble, let's unbubble this and uh, see what I got today because this is from the Disney Movie Club uh, that I'm a part of and stuff. And I believe I, I ordered a couple things and I believe I know what these ones are. But yeah, there was a, you know, a couple things that I ordered off the, the movie, Disney Movie Club because they, they had like a 50% off sale going on you know, a couple weeks ago for Christmas. And I saw these, I'm like, oh, I, got, I got, might as well get up on these. I picked up a couple of other things too, but they may be coming a little bit later on. And uh, one of the things I got in here, there's only two, two movies in here. And one of them I got was uh, Lion King One and a Half. Uh, I just I remember watching this one when it first came out and you know kind of digging it not thinking it was better than the original Lion King uh, Whatsoever, this is the blu-ray DVD combo pack with the slip cover uh, I was thinking about getting this in the stores too the weeks the week it came out and I also got, might as well have gotten you know Lion King 2 uh, Simba's pride here, so now I have all of the Lion King ones on blu-ray uh, I don't even think I own these ones on DVD, so like this is kind of cool getting them now. I think I may may have had these on VHS, those clamshell ones back in the day, but yeah, they were like 50% off at the time, so I, I grabbed them. I grabbed something else like a day or two after that, which I thought would have came now, but maybe it'll come in a day or two or something like that. But uh, it's the day after Christmas, and I just got Lion King and Lion King, you know, Lion King one and a half and Lion King two, Simba's Pride. So that's all I really got today for this hoarding up video uh, portion. So let's go on, on to the other side of my room for some DVD, 4K, and Blu-ray reviews. All right, guys, now on to my review portion of the video here. If you guys made it this far into the video, leave a comment down below saying wet movie rocks in the comments if you guys made it this far. But uh, let's get on with it here. I have a handful of DVDs and Blu-rays and 4Ks to talk to you guys about today. And the first one up over here is from Scream Factory. Uh, I actually got this one a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to wait to watch it on Christmas night itself. And that is the new collector's edition of Silent Night, Deadly Night here on uh, Blu-ray. This is the new two-disc edition that Shout Factory has just put out. And uh, of course, this is a, a Christmas horror classic, uh, in my opinion. I have like, I had like the two previous editions of it on DVD. Like I had the original Anchor Bay, uh, I believe, release of the film. Then I had like a two-pack with uh, Silent Night the other night, one and two on it. And now I finally got it here on Blu-ray with a brand new, uh, you know, transfer HD transfer of the film uh, from what's it called the uh, original camera negative and everything like that. And um, you also, with, with this release, you get a new commission artwork right here, which I think looks amazing right here. And of course, their original uh, artwork from back in the day that Shout Factory always provides us with their, you know, uh, horror releases and stuff. But if you guys don't know what Silent Night, Deadly Night is, the story is about this young kid named Billy. On Christmas Eve one night, him and his, him and his family are driving down the road in the middle of nowhere, and they get stopped by Santa Claus on the side of the road. You know, some, weird, some crazy guy just committed some crime. And uh, young Billy sees his mom and dad get killed, brutally killed in front of him, uh, you know, on, on, the, on the side of the road. And then, then it flashes forward a handful of years. You see him, you know, working at this toy shop. He's an older, not old guy, but, you know, he's like in his 20s now, working in this toy shop. And he's, you know, he... he Ever since his parents died, he's you know been in foster homes and stuff like that, and he's been traumatized by Santa Claus ever since. So every time Christmas rolls around, you know all hell breaks loose in his mind. If, you know things don't go right with Billy, and so one day he gets his job at this toy store, and uh, he's kind of sort of forced into being the store Santa Claus, uh, you know, for this one Christmas. And he puts on the Santa suit, and all hell breaks loose. 
and people start to die. Uh, and that's pretty much the, the premise of uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Uh, I always like this one. The second one's cool, too. It's trash day or garbage day or whatever it is. Uh, I, can't, I can't really remember the other ones because I think there was like three or four other uh, sequels in the franchise. I have the DVD of it, which I haven't watched in a long time. But, yeah, I, just got to, I, was, I was just happy to see that, you know, Shop Factory put this one out on Blu-ray. Of course, you get the theatrical version on disc one and the unrated version on disc two on here, along with, you know, some um, new making of featurette and interviews with some of the cast and crew uh, on here, some poster and still galleries, uh, Santa's stocking, uh, outrage, uh, just a whole bunch of cool stuff, a new audio commentary track uh, by Brian Wilson, the, the, the star of the film and director and stuff like that. A lot of great uh, special features um, on this bad boy right here. So if you're a fan of uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, I really highly recommend uh, this release right here. It looks fantastic here on Blu-ray. And next up over here from Scream Factory also is a new collector's edition of a movie I've only ever seen like once or twice when I was younger, and I didn't really remember it that much. And I got to say, it's not one of my favorites. Like after I watched it again, after all these years, it's still cool. But it's definitely, like, not one of my favorites, and that's the collector's edition of Hell Knight uh, here on Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This one, of course, stars Linda Blair, uh, you know, from The Exorcist and stuff, and she's a little bit older in this movie. I, I believe she made this movie right after she did the movie Roller Boogie, and uh, it's pretty much about these, um, what was it called again, these four um, pledges that are trying to pledge this fraternity, uh, going into this house that's supposedly haunted and supposedly something really bad happened in there, like someone committed some murders and stuff, and every year that, you know, pledges are pledging a certain fraternity, they have to be, you know, sent into this house for the night and, the, and make make it through the night and, you know, then they can, you know, become part of their fraternity. And it's all about, you know, Linda Blair's character and these, you know, three other people going into this haunted house and trying to survive the night, and then all the shenanigans that happen when they when they go into this house. Uh, I, I thought this movie, it's okay. It's just not one of those ones I see myself, like, watching over and over again, or anything like that. I, I wanted to see it. I wanted to see this new edition, because I like Linda Blair, you know, ever since The Exorcist and Roller Boogie, and, uh, Oh man, I keep forgetting that other movie's name, the other movie name. But like this, this new edition of this new edition of the film is has a new transfer uh, from 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 a 4K scan uh, from the best film elements that they have out there. Interview interviews in here with Linda Blair, like a half hour one talking to her about the making of the film, which I thought was interesting. Also, you get interviews with one or two of the other stars talking about their experience making the movie. Uh, TV spots, theatrical trailer. It was actually you know and actually an audio commentary track too including Linda Blair and the director uh, talking about the making of the film. And you also, like I said, with their releases, you get the original, uh, you know, poster art right here with Linda Blair, like, trying to get out of there, out of the gate and everything like that. Uh, it, it, it's a decent film, but it's just not one of those, like, ones that really stick with you, like The Exorcist or uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night or anything like that. It's still, it's still, it's still a decent film. Just not one of my favorites, in uh, in my opinion here, but it does look amazing. It does look really nice here on uh, the new 4K scan that they have. And uh, next up over here from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, I was sent these to review for free uh, from Warner Brothers themselves, and that is the what's it called the Batman and the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. You know, Batman Begins. Uh, the Dark Knight and uh, The Dark Knight Rises here, all on 4K, Blu-ray, and digital copy combo pack. Uh, th these Batman movies are actually super amazing, in my opinion. I really do like them. I'm not saying it just because I got these for free or anything like that, but I've always really liked these uh, Christopher Nolan Batmans. My favorite ones are still the Tim Burton ones, but like I really do like the look and feel uh, that these movies have, especially, uh, you know, The Dark Knight right here. This one was just... This just blew my mind, especially with uh, you know Heath Ledger's performance as a Joker. Just really top-notch performance uh, by him in this film, and I just really liked the the direction that Christopher Nolan, Christopher Nolan went, you know, and the look that he went for while making these films. You know what I mean? He actually, I don't know, like he just did a fantastic job. And I gotta say, the 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 look of these films on 4K are absolutely amazing. Kind of soft in moments. Uh, you know, of, of the transfers and stuff on 4K, but, like, the 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 IMAX uh, scenes that they shot for The Dark Knight, and, like, th those look amazing here uh, on 4K, and, of course, these movies, you know, are darkish, because that's what, you know, Batman movies are, kind of dark, 
And with the HDR and the way 4K is, it is, you know, brings in the darkness and pulls out the colors, you know, like on Joker's face and stuff. It just makes everything like the makeup pop, you know, on him with, with the colors that they have uh, on these Blu-rays and 4Ks right here. Uh, but on the blue, on these, uh, the special feature wise, you get all the same uh, special features that were featured on the previous editions of them on Blu-ray, which is a good, a good thing. And uh, I don't know, man, these are just amazing movies and look amazing here on Blu-ray. So if you're a fan... I highly recommend you guys uh, get these ones on uh, 4K. You won't be uh, you won't be disappointed with those ones. And next up over here from RLJ Entertainment is Joe Lynch's new film starring uh, Stephen Yen, and that is Mayhem here on 4K. Uh, of course, you guys know Stephen Yen from uh, with The Walking Dead and everything, and it's pretty much about him. Uh, he's a, a businessman or, or a lawyer or something like that. I, they, they, they may have talked about it in the movie, and I just totally missed it. Uh, he, he works in this office building, and, uh, you know, he works for a bank and everything like that. And there, at the beginning of this movie, uh, this lady is going to him, asking him for help. Like, hey, my, my, my house is about to be foreclosed on. Is there a way you can give me any more time, you know, so we can, you know, make, you know, give us some time so we can make the money to pay you guys so, you know, we can keep our house. And, you know, he's just like, I can't. I, I really can't do anything for you. You know what I mean? Yet, but yet he could. You know, but he he doesn't at the same time, and you know, because his bosses are like, no, we want that house. That house is gonna be ours. You know, kind of thing. Yet yeah, he kind of sort of feels bad about it a little bit, but not really. And uh, and then all of a sudden, all hell breaks loose inside his office building. His his office building gets locked down by the cops outside because there's an outbreak that happened, a virus that is infecting people that are in his office building, making people's eyes turn red, and starting to act kind of crazy and nutty, and it's all about Steven Yen's character and the young lady uh, that he just denied, uh, you know, a renewal for uh, to keep her home, and them trying to go after the big boss, uh, you know, in this building and trying to take him out and stuff, you know, one at a time, and trying to get different key cards to get up to different, you know, levels of the, of the building. It, it's actually kind of cool. In a way, it's kind of like the Belko experiment, but I haven't seen the Belko experiment. Uh, experiment, but I've seen trailers, and it kind of looks like it's one. Of, it's, it's kind of like that movie, but like in a Joe Lynch, you know, kind of twist to it. If you know what I mean, I still need to watch Belko. I'm going to get to that one soon. But this movie looks amazing here on 4K. I think it's probably one of uh, Joe Lynch's best movies. You guys know Joe Lynch. He's uh, directed a segment in the Chiller Chillerama movie, which I had a little appearance in and uh sort of if you look if you look real close you see me in Chillerama and that uh it was called the Wadzilla scene or Wadzilla short and he also directed Wrong Turn 2 uh which I thought was really kind of cool I just like seeing and he's also been in one or two of my videos in the past that uh, you know different um you know conventions and things but yeah if you guys like Steven Yen uh he does he does have a really nice performance in here a lot different than he was in The Walking Dead obviously and uh I don't know I like it I kind of like the concept and see you know seeing like the the brutality unfold on screen in this movie uh it was actually a, a really fun watch but it's, it's one of those ones I don't know if it's one of those ones I'm going to watch over and over again either you know it was really cool badass but I don't know, but uh, on this blue, uh, 4K and Blu-ray, you also get a making of uh, special featurette with a cast and crew talking about the making of the movie. But uh, yeah, I thought it was, it's, it's, it's a fun watch. It's not horrible or anything. But this next one right here, I, I'm i kind of mixed on right now. And that is called, uh, it's from Lionsgate Home Entertainment, and it's called Killing Gunther. Uh, this one was just released today, and I got it a couple days ago from Lionsgate. And it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's, on the, he's all up on the cover. He's all up on the back right here, and it's pretty much about these eight hitmen uh, that hire a documentary crew to follow them around as they try to take out the biggest hitman in the world, Gunther, who's played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and to take him out, and to, you know, so they can say, hey, we're the number one hitman in the world now, kind of thing, and it's just them going on this adventure trying to take out Gunther, but yet Gunther already knows there's a doc, you know, these guys are after him, so it's just like Gunther's after them as they're after him, and they don't really know who's after them, but it's really Gunther, it's all this kind of, uh, you know, crazy stuff going on, but it's shot documentary style, kind of like you, how, you, how The Office was filmed, you know, with the camera zooming in and out and, like, moving around and all that kind of stuff, documentary style. But uh, the sad thing is, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in the movie, but he's only in it for, like, maybe 10 minutes or maybe a little less than that. So, like, you see him all over the cover and everything, but it's one of those movies where he's not in a lot, but the parts that you do see him in, he's amazing. 
You know what I mean? He steals the show in every little every scene that he's in. Uh, in the, in this movie, he doesn't he doesn't have some weird stuff in certain situations. Uh, you know that he's in in here and stuff. I, mean, I, I thought I thought it was kind of funny some of the stuff that he did. I thought some of the other character character actors that they have playing the other eight hitman after uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger were really funny and really good. But midway through the movie, I was just kind of like, oh, it's losing gas. I'm over it. You know, kind of thing. But I'm like, I still haven't seen Arnold Schwarzenegger yet, so I'm, I'll keep watching, I guess. You know, kind of thing. So like, it does start off kind of well and entertaining, but it kind of just burns out halfway through the movie, uh, in my opinion here. But on this Blu-ray, you get some deleted scenes and um, a blooper reel, which Arnold Schwarzenegger is not in at all, just the other cast members in the blooper reel. But other than that, it was okay it's if you if you want to red box it or something like that or rent it somehow. But I know it, it was okay for what it was, just not amazing in my opinion. And uh, last but not least, over here uh, from Wellgo USA is another movie I watched on Christmas Day or a day or so before Christmas, and I just wanted to save it, savor the flavor for the holidays. And that is a uh, better watch out here on 4K. I heard a lot of people talking about this movie. Um, I got this one sent to review from uh, Wellgo USA, and it's pretty much about these. Uh, these two boys, these two best friends, uh, it's Christmas night, and uh, the parents of, uh, I forgot the kid's name in the movie now, uh, the main kid, the main kid you see right here, uh, his parents are leaving uh, for like Christmas Eve or whatever, and going out, going out to dinner, and uh, they hired a babysitter to watch him, because he's like 12 years old, or 13, or whatever, and he's really infatuated with the girl that, you know, he has as a babysitter. He's just like, okay, cool, man. So he's talking to his best friend, going, hey, when she comes over, man, I'm gonna tell her I like her. I'm gonna like just, I, ha I have to say something to her, man, because I'm in love with her. But yet she's like, you know, 16, 17 years old, you know, kind of thing. She has, she already has her own boyfriend and stuff. And uh, as soon as she comes over, she starts hanging out with them. They're watching horror movies and stuff. But yet they see a shadow figure, you know, in the window. They're like, what the hell? This, this, this a, a glass gets broken in by a brick, and it says, if you get out of this house, you're going to die, kind of thing. And they're in this weird situation in this house, and it's trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And they can't really call the cops because their, their phone line's been cut, all this kind of stuff. And they're kind of stuck in the house, not knowing who's out there, who's, try who's out there threatening to kill them, and all the craziness that happens. But the twist in this movie was actually pretty well done. I, th I thought I thought it was really kind of cool. But I think you guys like if you guys like holiday horror movies, I think you guys might really like this one. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, has some really decent acting in here. I really do like the the main three kids uh, that are in here. I think they did a very good job. I don't know, man. I just really uh, in, in thoroughly enjoyed uh, this holiday flick. Is it one of the best? No, but is it one of the better ones I've seen recently? Yeah. I really, I really do th I think so. But if, yeah, if you guys have never seen it before, better watch out. Make sure you guys check it out here on Blu-ray, baby. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for coming by for my hoarding up video today. And I'll see you guys all next time.